sa video natin ngayon, uh, let's try to solve this problem using Castellanos theorem. So again, I will split this video into two parts uh, to solve for the deflection at the free end and then for the slope at the roller support. Itong B sa kasi kasi will have a long solution and so I will just discuss it in another video. And then let's try to compare that to what we have formed using the virtual work method kasi I already discussed this one. And so uh, first, we have to find out the deflection at the free end. And so we will be applying a load P at this point. So this this will have uh, a load P dito. And so that means that our reactions here will change. Kasi meron ng P dito. So again, uh, let's take moments about A equal to 0. Uh, that will be, uh, let's just remove this one. But essentially, this 135 and 210 will still be in our equation. But I will just solve it again so that you will see kung ano yung mangyayari. So remove ko na yan. And then let's label this as BY and this one as AY. So taking moments about A, we have... Uh, 50 times the length which is 6 and then multiplied by the moment arm which is 3 again this has a resultant dito which is uh, 50 times 6 or simply 300 so uh, 300 na lang to. 300 times the moment arm which is uh, 3 and then minus by times 6 and then plus 45 times 8 this moment arm and then plus itong p p times 8 and so let's uh, set this one to 0 so this will become uh, 900 minus 6 by and then plus 360 and then plus p times 8 is equal to 0 and so let's isolate itong by so let's move this one to the right magiging 6 by is equal to uh, 1 to 60 plus 8 p and then let's divide both sides by 6 so divide by 6 divide by 6 magka cancel na to and then 1 to 60 over 6 is just essentially 210 so this will be uh, 210 plus 8 over 6 p and then that's equal to by so this is uh, 210 plus again 8 over 6 will reduce into 4 over 3 if you will divide the numerator and denominator by 2 so uh, plus 4 thirds p this will be our by and then to get ay we will just simply uh, sum up forces along y equal to 0 so that will be ay plus by is equal to the downward forces uh, which are 300 plus 45 and then plus p and since we already have our by we can solve for ay so ay uh, plus this expression is equal to uh, 345 plus p and so our ay will be uh, 345 minus 210 and then plus p minus 4 thirds p that will become 135 and then plus uh, i mean minus 1 third p so this will be our ay so 135 minus 1 third p and so now we can already apply our equation so let's just remove this one and then uh, let's copy this one and so let's try to draw our table we have the segment which are ab and cb and then we have our moment equation the, uh, the actual moment equation considering p uh, which will become uh, for segment ab we have considering this a uh, uh, as our origin and then this one as our cut we have this as our x and so the moment about the cut will be 135 minus 1 third p which is essentially ay multiplied by x and then minus uh, 50x times x over 2 or simply uh, 25x squared again yung shortcut dito is uh, wx squared over 2 if you have a uh, distributed load and then for segment cb we have uh, 45 uh, plus p multiplied by x because again uh, this is our origin and then this will be our x and then this will be negative essentially because uh, our convention will change now to get mr kailangan natin tong is set to zero itong dalawa i mean uh we will set p to zero so uh, set p to zero for this equation and so that will be uh, 135 times x because mawawala na to and then minus 25 x squared and then for this one if we will set p to zero that will simply be uh, negative 45 times x kasi mawawala na to and then let's form a table for uh, dm over dp or the partial derivative of m with respect to p so let's copy these equations now this equation will reduce into uh, 135 times x minus uh, one third p times x minus 25 x squared and again uh, we will differentiate the moment equation while treating everything as a constant except for p and m prime so we will treat this as a constant uh, this one as a constant and also this one as a constant and then uh, only p will be our variable so if we will differentiate this one it will become uh, this will become zero because that's a constant and then this will be uh, minus one third times x 
because if we differentiate p magiging 1 and then uh, this will also become 0 so plus 0 because this is also treated as a constant so our uh, dm over dp for segment ab will become uh, negative one third times x so this will be negative one third x and then for this one uh, this will reduce into negative 45 times x plus px and then if this is treated as a constant and then we will differentiate that will become zero and then itong px magiging p i mean uh, x because differentiating p magiging one and then ito na lang yung matitira yung coefficient niya so uh, this will be x. Uh, I mean, uh, negative x because uh, this is negative. So, papalitan ko to. Uh, this is also negative. And so, notice na ito, this is just the same as mv in our uh, virtual work method. So, let's try to check. Now, wala na pala yung notes ko dito. So, uh, just check dun sa video natin sa virtual work and then try to verify if uh, itong dm over dp will be equal to our uh, mv considering the virtual system so uh, to solve the deflection at the free end we will get the definite inte uh, integrals of these and then isa sum up natin so for the first one we have uh, 1 over ei again this is for segment ab limits are from again di natin nalagay no limits from uh, 0 to 6 and then this one will be from 0 to 2 so uh, 0 to 6 and then mr again uh, this is our equation mr times dm over dp so our mr is 135x minus 25 x squared and then multiplied by uh, this expression negative one third times x and then for uh, segment cb we have one over ei and then integral from uh, zero to two and then negative 45 x multiplied by negative x and so this will give us uh, 135 x minus 25 x squared times negative one third x that will be negative uh, 540 and then for this one uh, we have 0 to 2, negative 45x, and then times negative x, which is 120. Again, this is uh, KNM cubed over EI because this is deflection and also this one. Now, if uh, if it's a sum up natin to, it will become negative 420. So, this will be negative 420 KNM cubed divided by EI. Now, since negative yung sagot natin dito, that means that the, uh, the deflection is actually going up because yung P na direction natin dito is downward. And so, mali yung assumption natin. So, again, uh, this just means that the deflection is upward. And so, as you can notice, the same lang yung sagot natin dito, uh, which is itong 420. And then next, let's try to find the slope at the roller support. So, yung gagawin natin, so yung gagawin natin is we will remove this one and then maglalagay tayo ng uh, m dito. Let's say this is m prime. And so, remove ko na lang to. Now, again, because nag-change yung loading natin, our reactions will also change. So, let's try to solve for ay ulit. So, taking moments uh, about b, we have... Uh, negative 300 times 3 plus 45 times 2 and then plus m i mean m prime and then plus a y times the moment arm which is 6 we will be able to get a y so our a y will be uh, 900 minus 90 and then plus m prime divided by 6 again this is already the simplified form so uh, this will essentially become a y is equal to uh, 810 over 6 plus m prime divided by 6. Now, 810 over 6 is just equal to 135. So, our ay will be 135 plus m prime over 6. So, 135 plus m prime divided by 6. And then, our by will be uh, summing up forces vertical. We have ay plus by is equal to 300 plus 45. Now, our ay is 135 plus m prime divided by 6. And then, plus by, that's equal to 345. So, this will be uh, by is equal to 210 minus m prime over 6 so this will be 210 minus m prime over 6 and so let's try to form the table uh, again we have our segment let's just consider the same segment a to b and uh, c to b and then our limits will be 0 to 6 and 0 to 2 and then our m will be uh, 135 plus m prime over 6 for this one uh, taking moments about this cut and then times x minus 25 x squared Again, this is from uh, wx squared over 2, where w is itong 50. Now, this is our moment equation, and so our mr will be, uh, we will set m prime to 0, and so that will be 135x minus 25x squared, kasi mawawala na to. And then, uh, for our segment cb, we have uh, 45 multiplied by x, and so our mr will simply be the same, uh, 45x, because wala namang m prime dito. And then our uh, dm over dm prime will be obtained from these equations. So uh, first, let's get the, par uh, 
the partial derivative of m with respect to m prime considering this equation so uh, this will be again uh, we will expand this one that will be 135 x plus uh, m prime over 6 times x minus 25 x squared again we will treat everything as a constant except for m prime so if this is a constant and we will differentiate that will become zero and then uh, if this is our variable differentiating that one we will get x over six and then if this is a constant also then that will also be zero if we will differentiate that so our uh, dm over dm prime will be x over six yeah and then for segment cb if we have uh, 45x as our m then we will treat this as a constant because our variable should only be m prime and so if uh, if this is a constant and we will differentiate that one that will simply become zero so our uh, dm over dm prime will be zero so we will just uh, include segment ab in our calculation so that will be zero to six and then uh, mr which is 135 x minus 25 x squared multiplied by x over six and then dx and then we have 1 over ei data so this will give us uh, 270 and then this will be kn uh, m squared divided by ei again this is m squared because we are talking about the slope again this is the slope at uh, b now this should be negative now let's try to check our ay again ah okay so uh, our ay should have been uh, 900 minus 90 and then minus m prime divided by 6 so the sign here is actually uh, negative and then this is plus because uh Again, this should have been negative because the actual rotation uh, here at B is counterclockwise. And then we assumed here a clockwise direction. So uh, if this is minus, then dm over dm prime will be a negative x over 6. And then this will also be negative x over 6. And so that will give us negative 270. And so that means that our assumption is wrong. Instead of clockwise, uh, we have a counterclockwise rotation. And so this will be our answer.